Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game dev vlog on the Blue Dots Expedition, a turn-based strategy flight game. If these last two weeks had a slogan, I'd have to borrow the saying from a relatively known mathematician. Quote, Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. That being said, let's get into the simple stuff first. Unfortunately, sometimes it's about the little things. I say that because they build up with everything you do, even if you're doing it well. <gasps> I updated the explosions and beams to have background shadows like everything else. The enemies explode and disappear in the battle outcome phase. The enemies now switch their behaviors and stats depending on how many enemies are left in the flight mode, and the enemy count updates depending on which enemies are left in the flight mode. Added a hologram shader to the indicator so that it's not a dark, blandish, reddish color, and should be more eye-catching. Ha! <sighs> But the biggest update is the turn phase animations, or at least the start of the animations. Thanks to the editor scripted phase system I made last time, I can implement the animation calls easily to tell the players when it's their turn or not, and it also makes it easy to add more when I need to, which is going to be very, very likely. Oh, and some general code cleanup, I guess, but that's standard at this point, so yeah. This is why I pulled the Einstein quote. This is one of the hardest, more frustrating parts to learn and relearn every playtest session with players. And that is the art of making a good tutorial. Telling players what to do isn't the hard part. Anyone can do that. It's teaching them without explicitly telling them is the hard part. For background, I'm coming at this from a slightly different point of view. A lot of my tutorial philosophy is not telling the players how to play and let them figure it out while the environment mechanically teaches them to play the game. Think World 1-1 from Super Mario Brothers or the beginning levels of Super Meat Boy. So like there's a level, I think level three, that just is just a gap. And the only way to get over that gap is to hold down run and jump. You can't get it any other way. You can't just keep jumping around. You won't jump far enough. And that's to make sure that the player understands that in order to get over far gaps that you need to press and hold the run button and jump across it. While it worked for my last game, this has a lot more going on and is more abstract at points. To mitigate this, I was playing strategy and tactics games for console and PC with varying degrees of quality, but the best I found was from the great revisionist of history, Civilization V, where it gives you a set of tasks and let the player explore the UI and figure it out, along with mountains of text that the player doesn't have to read, but they can if they like to. After hours of cannibalizing the old dialogue system I made many, many months ago to display the text, said text will only tell the players what to do and not spell it out. The first part is what players always do first when playing a game moving. I made designated sections for the player's ships. They need to enter the designated sections before the tutorial continues. For the second part, to doubly make sure that players know how to do it, I made a scenario where there are two sections that need two player's ships to be in them, reinforcing the learning, and as a plus, forces the player to learn how to switch ships. The rest is under construction. The third part is making an enemy appear to teach encounters, but that's as far as the tutorial goes for now. I still need to make a tutorial for the flight mode, and because I never want to make it easy, I want it to be used in show builds, which if you know anything about strategy games, even the faster paced ones, are, for a lack of a better term, visually lifeless to the onlooker. I'll just close this topic by posing a question to all of you. What are some of your favorite tutorials in games? I'd be curious to know. Speaking of learn and relearning, good cameras. One of like three big lose-lose prospects in game development, along with UI and programming in general. Nobody noticed these aspects until it's noticeable, mostly for a lack of quality. I wasn't planning on a camera in the strategy mode for said reasons, but if you actually look at the map in the scene view, it is small. And if I want to make larger levels or more interesting encounters, I need to give the player the ability to, to see more and plan their moves. Currently, the player can view the field from the selected ship as the center, within bounds, obviously. I'm planning on implementing other camera states, for example, having the camera go to the selected battle when in the battle select menu, and also some other minor additions. I hope to get the tutorial and camera system implemented, and maybe, very hard maybe, I get a tune shader that passes shadows on other shaders, along with other bits of polish that come to mind as the development continues. That'll be it for this one, let me know if you have any questions or feedback, take care of yourselves, and have a good week.